All right, so put, put sideways in front of a fan. Uh, it reaches a steady state of about 70. Um, this fan is blowing pretty, pretty strongly. Um, the steady state just uh, setting in there without uh, airflow, it's about like 40 or so. Now let's look at what happens when I put it in front of the uh, actual, actual air filter. I could be holding it, but actually, like, it doesn't really matter. Um, some may complain is actually, you know, the vibration uh, for the air filter. Um, but, but no, uh, look, the air filter, it's dramatically dropping the values that you see in the device. Um, and, and very quickly. And the steady state um, ends up being around like 0 0.1 um, if you hold it there for, for a long while. Yeah, it sort of like hovers around 0 0.5. Uh, when it's not a smoky day, it uh, ends up being, oh yeah, look, like kind of like 0 0.1 ends up being the steady state. But right now it's oscillating, and I attribute that to the much higher concentrations of uh, PM 2.5 in the environment. Look, as soon as I take it out of there, um, you will see that it starts to climb. And uh, yeah, to just to show how <laughs> this fan uh, I mean, this uh, air purifier, like, I mean, there's like a lot of uh, air coming out of it. All right, I'm right next to the door, and um, as we saw in the other video, the original video, um, actually, right right outside of the door, uh, right here, um, is going to be higher than, like, you know, in the room where the actual air filter is. But this is, like, nowhere near uh, what's outside. And to show you that, yeah, basically, it's not a matter of airflow, um, I'll just use a napkin to, to show you there's not much airflow outside. Okay, so let me step out outside. Yeah, very quickly starts to. Not a, not promoting hikes, so just showing there's not much um, airflow. It's pretty pretty steady. It's not windy. It's definitely not not as windy as the fan <laughs> by a couple orders of magnitude. All right, the final piece of the puzzle was people were asking, uh, what does the air quality look like in an apartment that doesn't have an air filter, but has the windows closed? So what I did was went to a neighbor and uh, recorded the uh, value inside and outside, and uh, it was the same. However, my neighbor happened to have, um, one of his windows was a little bit opened, so I asked him to close the windows. Uh, they were, it, the, the quality was about like two, 2.30 at the time. Then um, the, the window was completely shut and I returned about an hour later just to see uh, if the quality had improved. And the quality inside his apartment stayed the same. However, outside it got worse. Uh, it, it was about um, 2.30 an hour ago and now it's about 350. Um, and his apartment, it was 2.30 then, and it's 2.30 now. So my, my feeling is that, yeah, if you shut down your windows and you have a well-insulated house, uh, that kind of takes a snapshot of, of the state at the time. Um, and uh, yeah, based on diffusion rates, uh, at some, some point it's going to equalize with, with the environment. But I, I, I don't know, like it could very well be that inside you get maybe like 50% less uh, particulate matter or maybe, you know, 30% less or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, you're not going to get like the insane reductions <laughs> that, <laughs> that you get by having an, an actual effective air filter.